Okay, continuing the P-51 challenge campaign. The next mission, I believe, is going to be a takeoff. Yes, mission two, takeoff. Let's just change the paint job a little bit. I'm kind of partial to this paint job because it matches, or very closely matches, a, a model kit I built as a kid. Okay, take off and climb to a thousand feet. Welcome to the takeoff challenge mission. Given the Mustang's large torque forces, this can certainly be a challenge. Yeah. Like to start a mission, use what you learned in the takeoff training mission to get airborne and climb 1,000 feet. Okay, sounds easy enough, right? But this is, I think this mission and the takeoff and the crosswind was one of the one where I died the most because I had only flown the A-10 previously, which is very easy to take off. You just shove the throttle forward and let, and the plane will you pull back on the stick and it'll take off. Some distinctions here, if you're coming from a jet, this is totally different and is likely to kill you a few times. So what I'm going to do is advance the throttle very slowly. You're going to watch my manifold pressure here and you can see kind of what I'm doing with the throttle. RPM is set to full. I'm not using flaps. Uh, you can if you want to, uh, but I tend not to because it seems to be a little more controllable. And while I'm, you want to watch your manifold pressure here to see what I'm doing, but most importantly your airspeed here and you can watch this too to kind of keep your nose in track with the runway and my stick until I hit 100 miles per hour I'm gonna have that thing planted full back and that locks the tail wheel it keeps her from getting all squirrely because it's a tail dragger if you're if your tail swings out too far while you're on the ground going forward you'll do a ground loop the center of gravity will swing out too far and you'll end up spinning all over the runway and making a big mess so don't do that. That's part of why you do this. Another reason is you keep your tail planted on the ground by doing this. Once it generates enough uh, aerodynamic forces to have your tail actually have effect so it has authority. Uh, sometimes you may want to keep your tail planted on the ground a little bit more, especially in the crosswind, to build up that speed for the airplane to want to naturally take off easily. Unlike a jet here, uh, some people may do this, but I don't. You, you do. I do not pull back on the stick to take off. That was part of my major problem when I was learning it. So if you're having trouble taking off, don't pull back on the stick when you have enough airspeed. If you just keep adding power, the plane will naturally ease off the runway. You want to think of this as like a slow, easy, gradual process, sort of. Uh, let's just, you know, more rock. Let's talk. Let's just. I think that's all I need to say here. So stick back. We're gonna ease the throttle forward. You can take off at 40, 40 inches manifold pressure. A little bit of rudder. If you're having a hard time, you can just put it at 40, like this, and keep it there until you hit 100. Okay, so I got back pressure on the stick, a little bit of right rudder, right rudder. Gaining speed, easing off back pressure on the stick, because the I can see how it's bouncing a little bit like that. The tail wants to take off. And then look at that. 40 pound PSI takeoff. You don't need full power. And we're going to raise the landing gear. And look at that, we're flying. Drop the RPM a little bit to save my engine. And we're going to climb up to a thousand feet nice and easy. See how easy that was? Uh, and I remember that being an insane bitch. And like I crashed, I don't know, 20, 30 times trying to do that. I was getting very frustrated. I could only do it like five times before getting so angry that I'd have to quit and go back to it. Oh, another thing, which I didn't do. See this rudder trim wheel right here? Normal takeoff settings. You're going to set that. Nice job getting this bird into the air. You can end the mission now, fly around and do it soon. Normally what you want to do is set that rudder five degrees or six degrees to the right. Like that. I didn't do that because I forgot and I ended up having to compensate a lot using my uh, rudder pedal. It'll make it easier for you if you put it five, five or six degrees to the right. So that's it for this mission. Thanks for watching. And uh, that'll be a crash. So, um, see you next mission. I don't know what that's going to be. I think it's uh, landing. We'll find out.